When setting up a new job on a Haas mill with the probing system, we've got options. We can go to the tool offset page and probe our Z lengths from there. Or we can go to VPS, answer a few questions, and just press the green button. The control takes care of everything for us. But there is a third option that will allow us to probe a big group of tools like we have here with a single button press, automating the whole tool setting process. We can probe any of the tools on this table if we can answer just one question. Is my tool pointy or is it not pointy? And if I know that, if we know that, we can probe any one of these tools with one of just two lines of code. If I enter this line of code into a program or into MDI, it's gonna probe our tool for us. This is how it works. G65, that is our macro call. And if you have a Haas mill with probing, you have the macros option. The machine came with it. P9023 is just the 9000 probing macro that we're gonna use. A12 is a variable that tells us that we're probing a pointy tool. So T1 is what we play with. That's where we tell the control which tool we need to probe the Z-length offset on. Now, when we run this code, it's gonna automatically do a tool change for us, putting whatever tool we designate in the spindle. It's gonna then feed that tool down until it makes contact, writing to our tool offset page on the offset number that matches our T number. All that with a single line of code. This is gonna work for any of our pointy tools. And a pointy tool is just a, a pointy drill bit. It could be a, a tap or a ream. I'm even gonna say that a, an end mill, smaller than about a quarter inch diameter, about six millimeters, is just fine being probed with this cycle. End mills are often concave at their tips, meaning that they are longest at their edges. If the entire end mill doesn't fit well within the pad of our tool probe stylus, it could affect our length offset. We need to shift these larger tools over when probing. Tools that need to be set at their edges are what I'm calling not pointy tools. We have a different cycle for all of these not pointy tools like shell mills. A shell mill cannot come down directly above our tool probe. At best, it would give us an inaccurate tool offset, and at worst, it might actually crash into our tool probe. We need the, the shell mill to move sideways. We need it offset by the radius of the tool before perfectly probing its edges, and that's what this guy does. Not pointy, macro, G65, P9023, A23 dot. This is the variable that tells us, that tells the control, that we're probing a not pointy tool, an end mill indexable, that type of thing. Again, our T number, whatever tool we happen to be probing. And here we've got an H value and a D value. Those are gonna be our approximate length and diameter values. H is approximate length, D is approximate diameter. And it needs this value because it's not gonna feed down all the way from our tool change position like our pointy macro. This one is gonna feed down pretty quick, down to a certain point above our probe and stop then it's gonna turn the tool on, spinning backwards as it makes contact with that tool probe. It's gonna to write to the offset that matches our T number that we told the control we wanted it written to, and that's it. It's gonna come up and it's ready for the next cycle. If probing one tool at a time from MDI, all we have to do is adjust one or two variables and we're ready to probe that next tool. Simple. And if we know that we're gonna run a job again someday, we can take these lines of code and write them right into our program. So the next time this job comes up, we can set all of our tool offsets with a single button press. This is efficiency, this is automation. And there's lots of ways to skin a cat. You might do it a different way, but we wanted to make sure that you knew this option was available because we need to make your life easier. We wanna help you automate as much of the process as possible. And that means our setups as well. Well, that's it. And thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.